Hey guys, my jam, so February <laughs> 29th at 4.36, so yeah, I just finally did the uh, memorial thing, and I don't care what people say, I'm not dwelling on the loss of my pets doing this, I think it actually helps, because either way I'm going to remember them, so why not have a spot where I can remember them, and that's why I changed my place around. But <clears throat> now that I'm looking at it, I kind of want to make this wall the unloving memory wall too. So I'm going to move this bookshelf, take everything off, except for like the stuff, uh, the dolls, and then move the sofa from here to there, and the bookshelf over here, and then I'll probably move the table somewhere. So we'll see. But... This is at least the start. I just wanted to see what it looks like. But basically, <clears throat> I put uh, all their photos that I made in the member projects. I still got lots more that I want to do. So that's why I don't want to like have to rechange this wall. So it'll just be easier. And then <laughs> for Hope's favorite toy, I left here. <clears throat> so I just used tape. And then that's the doll that I use that looks like Hope. It reminds me of Hope. So I gotta find one for Speckles just being a mother cats. Rather than custom made ones. And then the platypus toy that was Speckles' favorite. So I put that beside Speckles. And I just use tape like I said. And then I have all the frames. And then i have hope's bed here instead of over on this side i moved everything in one spot but like i said i'm going to move things around again to put that closer to that side because i also have the cat thing hanging up there i was like oh yeah i should have done that in the first place <laughs> so i wanted to see what it looked like first i mean i don't know i guess technically i could have one here and then yeah i don't know what do you guys think? <laughs> should I have everything all together or should I just have it like this? Where I just have the bookshelf here and then I have other and memory projects on that side. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's together. Truth be told, I don't really want to move everything again. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So that's why I'm tired. So I'm going to most likely eat and take a nap before I do laundry. So, yeah, I think that's good the way it is. But if I, I don't know, if I have, I kind of, uh, <laughs> I kind of want everything together. I'm one of those people. Yeah, so never mind. I'll take the stuff, take the frames down, and then I'll move it over to the side, and I'll rearrange things, and then I'll record that with the volume. Like I said, I was going to do, I recorded me vacuuming and doing the window cell and all that but I'm like you guys have seen that so many times and I'm probably going to redo it again so I am so, <laughs> I was like I'll just re-record it later but we big everything around because yeah for me it makes more sense and then like people say the thing that I have about my brothers up on the blanket the phantom blanket and how I have all these things and living memory things people are like you're dwelling on it, you're dwelling on it. I'm like, I don't consider it that. I consider um, they're always going to be a part of me. I should have a spot where I could go in my place to honor them. And that's what I do. And I have the candle that says hope. And I like that when I miss them. So, and like I said, I was going to make a room just uh, in the memory room. But I kind of want everybody to see it when they come over. So... Yeah, I'm going to take down the Skull poster and the Point Alice posters and put them somewhere else. So, I'll do that later, but at least I kind of kind of got an idea. But like I said, it's better... Like, I even watched it on YouTube, too, where somebody was talking about how they were trying to get rid of... Get rid of... Get over the loss of their pets, and that's what they did. They did a memorial. But when I did the memorial, people were like, oh, you're dwelling in the past. Blah, blah, blah. You got to get over it. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it just happened not even, it has not been that long. 
And like I said, I do want to do a funeral vlog, so that's why I'm putting this together, so then that way I got a spot. And that's why I have my brothers posted on the other side, because <clears throat> then that way um, I have a spot for them. But what I might do is actually move their stuff over there, move the couch somewhere. I'm thinking of maybe not even having the couch here in the living room. I just might move it into one of the rooms for now and then figure out where I want to put it. Because I don't really have that many people come over anyways. <laughs> Literally, the only person who comes to visit me is Chris. That's it. <laughs> but like I said, he drives. And then I have like family that lives close by to visit. But literally, that's pretty much it. Like when I do the games nights. Like when I move everything from this side, so if I move everything from this side and put it on this side, I could probably move the couch over there <coughs> and then leave the table there so then when people come by, there's at least a spot where I could even move like my DVDs. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the couch. But I kind of want it close to the memor memorial thing as well because like it was Pope's and Josephine's and Speckle's favorite spot. Like I said, a scratching post is freaking expensive. So I, I, technically I was going to keep that to make that be a more um, memorial spot and use it like a bookshelf. But then I paid like over almost a thousand dollars for that. So I could have sell it for at least a hundred to two hundred dollars. I mean, it's a couple years old. And it's re actually really heartbreaking to see it, so that's why it's in the other room. So yeah, that's what I've been working on, and I'm exhausted, so I'm going to eat my ramen noodles that are leftovers with miso soup, and then take a quick nap before I do laundry. And then once I start doing laundry, I'll probably, because I'm not visiting when I do laundry, but it's like half hour, and then... An hour or so when I have it in the dryer, I'll probably start this. Or I might cook, we'll see. Because I do want, there's a few things that I do want to cook with the uh, mushrooms and the broccoli. So like, there's no rush for this. I kind of just wanted something so you guys could see. But again, we'll see, maybe I'll do it then. Because and then it's done and out of the way. And then I have the 11 memory projects to do. And then put them all on the wall. Because there's more frames that I want to do. And. Yeah, that's how I get over it. <laughs> so before people say, you're dwelling in the past. No, this is how I get over death. So, like I said, I talked to my counselor about it. My counselor also agrees. It's a good way to help you grieve because you're remembering them and you're, you're keeping yourself busy at the same time. So that's the other thing too. I'm like, instead of cooking, I'm cleaning, but I'm also putting together a project. So why is it a bad thing? That's what I don't get. But people are like, oh, you're dwelling on the on thing. I'm like, it just happened like on the 22nd. So it hasn't been that long. <laughs> so give me a break. <laughs> Nobody just gets over death. And it's like, oh, yeah, it just gets frustrating sometimes. And, like, I know people go, well, if you don't post on social media, it's not just people on social media. It's people that I know. It's family. Everyone just goes. They all say, oh, I dwell, dwell in the past. I don't get over it. Yeah, because I believe in honoring the dead, not <clears throat> forgetting about them because they're a part of your life. And I'm not hurting anyone. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people watch my videos, and they do in Loving Memory Projects, too, so it's helping them. So, yeah, I think it's fine. But <clears throat> I'm getting exhausted here, so oh, I already have my food all ready to go in the microwave, and I'll probably upload this video and then take, like, a hour nap. And I'll be able to talk to you guys later, but this is kind of, like... This is what I do to remember my pets. And if Josephine was here, I would have not been able to do that. <laughs> because 
I don't have the space and the noise and then I have to worry about her getting into things and stuff like that. So it's been something that I've been wanting to do. Like I did the Hope one and I also have that on video where I set up the memorial and everything. And I thought Speckles and Josephine were going to live for at least a year, but unfortunately it was just not even a year and... Yeah, so now I'm just kind of honoring them all together, and then my other cats have passed away, and like I said, I really don't want to get any more pets, because I, I really got to go debt, and that's another reason why I stay home all the time, because I can't afford going out. <laughs> it's too expensive, even when you do free stuff, you got to get coffee, you got to get food when you're out, so I'm like, at least when I'm home, I got my own coffee, I got my own food. I just have to cook it, so this is what I do when I'm at home, and then I take naps when I need to. So yeah, um, like I said, this is my opinion about how I honor my pets, and I'll do a short as well, and then get ready for a nap, and then talk to you guys later after I start laundry here on Phantom Stories Daily Vlogger. Didn't go of my cat.